I would like to welcome you for the opening of the newest trial system at the Alte Koppens Aqua Center. Something very exciting is going to happen today. We are enormously proud of this expansion of our research facility. It shows dedication to the farm's performance. Research and development is the cornerstone of the business for Alta Coppens. In the ever-changing world of the agriculture industry, being adaptable to market trends and pursuing innovation and research is critical. Alta Coppens is ready with diets to fit every farming situation. I am very excited for the future, what it holds for our company, what it holds for our teams and what it holds for the innovation of our feeds. The future for Alta Coppens is looking very bright. The Alta Coppens Aqua Center serves to expand the company's capacity for product development and solutions for the aquaculture industry. For more than 15 years, the ACSC has carried out applied research within the field of aquaculture. The center is a home to our team of aquaculture research dedicated to quality, innovation and the development of new applications and aquafeeds. I always say the most important ingredient in all our feeds and solutions is knowledge. And the ACSC is the vehicle to bring us this knowledge. We now officially declare the ACAC open. Hello and welcome to the Alltech Coppens Aqua Center, which represents the cornerstone of Alltech's commitment to aquaculture. Let's go inside and find out more about the next generation digestibility system. A recirculating aquaculture system basically consists of two main units. The holding unit with all the compartments or tanks where all of the fish are housed and the filtration unit. Wastewater containing all impurities such as faeces, ammonium and toxic ammonia exits the tanks via an outlet within each fish tank within the RAS and is then firstly filtered mechanically. Within our RAS systems, this mechanical filtration is performed by a drum filter, ensuring the optimal balance between filtration rate and efficiency. After mechanical treatment, the second step is biofiltration, which in our case consists of an aerated basin filled with biocarriers, a so-called moving bed filter. These biocarriers provide a surface for specific species of bacteria to grow on. These bacteria transform the wastewater's ammonia via nitrite into nitrate, which is less harmful to fish. The newly filtered water is then heated up or cooled down, disinfected by a UV column, and then subsequently flows back into the holding tanks. This ensures that all holding tanks share the same optimal water quality parameters. A specialty in our new system here is the possibility to temporarily store water from the system in a buffer tank. Normally, when lowering the water level in the holding tanks, for example when weighing fish, a lot of water exits the system and enters the sewer via outflows, placed in different corners in the system. Especially when working with warm water species like African catfish, sampling fish weight and normal fish husbandry can now be performed in a more sustainable way in terms of energy and water use keeping the requirement for heating large volumes of water to a minimum and taking a positive step forward in terms of lowering our carbon footprint. The system that we have built is an enlarged version of a Guelph system. The tanks are an essential part of the system since they must meet different demands such as being suitable for different fish species as well as being technically flexible in order to use one system for different types of experiments. However, Perhaps the most important design feature of the new system is related to the sinking speed and the efficiency of faeces collection. Starting from the top of the tank, we find the lid first. The lid prevents the fish from escaping from the tank and can also support feed containers on top of it. Going one stage lower, we find the largest part of the tank. This is the cylindrical part in which the fish are maintained. In this 500 litre compartment, the water from the filtration system enters the tank. The way in which the water enters the tank is very specific within a Guelph system. It enters via a spray bar with an adjustable angle. The angle distorts the water, creating a subtle vortex. Below the cylindrical part of the tank, we find the grid. The space between the bars of the grid should be small enough to keep the fish in the cylindrical part of the tank and also wide enough to let the faeces from the fish flow through without any resistance. 
Below the grid, the tank becomes a conical shape, another key feature of a Guelph system. Remember the vortex created in the upper part of the tank? The combination of the vortex and the conical shape of the bottom of the tank permits the faeces to settle in the centre of the tank. Connected to the foot of the tank, at the point of the cone, there is a bottle in which faeces will accumulate. Every morning, the bottles are collected and the faeces is immediately stored frozen prior to subsequent laboratory analysis. The fish we see here are African catfish. The density is rather low. This allows the fish to grow continuously. On average, they weigh 120 grams each. And at the end of a given experiment, they will weigh an average of about 600 grams. The reason we have built this system is that we are unable to do a growth trial and a digestibility trial at the same time within the same experiment. We experimented with a normal growth tank for African catfish with a swirl separator, and this did not produce the quality of data that is our standard. Next to this, we also tried to collect faeces from African catfish in the smaller Guelphs that we have. This worked fantastically. We realized that the only option to combine all metrics within growth and digestibility for African catfish was to design and build a bigger Guelph system. We are the first aquatic research centre in the world doing digestibility studies with African catfish in this way. With this design, we furthermore minimise potentially stressful situations for our fish that may be caused by routine animal husbandry or sample collection. This is achieved by opaque tank walls and the easily detachable settling column in order to obtain the highest quality data possible. To be able to measure the digestibility, it is important that we collect good quality faeces that have been cooled down as fast as possible to prevent the possibility of nutrient leaching. The vortex helps the faeces to settle in the centre of the tank, but the correct settling is primarily dictated by the conical shape of the foot of the tank. Here we can see faeces from a catfish sinking towards the collection bottle. The faeces produced by African catfish are somewhat unique in their characteristics insofar as they consist of a very instable liquid-like form. With the right system and without disturbing the faeces, it is very possible to collect close to 100% of the faeces without the risk of nutrients leaching into the water. When the faeces are collected from the system, they are frozen and subsequently analysed for nutrient composition to determine the nutrient digestibility coefficients of the experimental feeds tested in a given trial. The R&D team are responsible for analysing the samples and interpreting the results. The setup of this system allows us to collect all of the faeces produced from several different fish species in order to accurately investigate the digestibility of feeds and raw materials. In our lab, we further examine the collected faeces regarding their effect on water pollution, and we also investigate the quality of the faeces. One of our primary research objectives is related to quantifying faeces characteristics, so investigating their physical properties relative to dietary factors. Furthermore, we also examine how the faeces behave in the water column and the effects the faeces characteristics have on the water quality. The data resulting from these measurements can then be extrapolated to on-farm scenarios, which in addition to the digestibility of the experimental diets, allows us to keep improving our feeds to attain optimal fish performance at our customers and to ensure the best possible nutritional quality. Our research program at the Alltech Coppins Aqua Centre plays a key role in working towards becoming independent from marine resources in aquafeeds and evaluating the nutritional potential of alternative raw materials. The first step will often involve conducting background research on what data is already available for a given raw material. It is only when a new raw material is deemed interesting for use in production and when there is not enough information available that the decision is made to conduct further testing at the ACAC. When raw materials are tested in the ACAC, they are tested for their nutritional quality, so we will investigate fish performance and health, ingredient and feed digestibility, faeces quality, palatability and maximum feed intake, and all of which of these fall under our four pillars of fish nutrition. Together, all of this information is required for using these new raw materials in final feed formulation and is intensively discussed within our research, nutrition and procurement departments. In addition to the nutritional evaluation of new raw materials, we also investigate how they can be used in the extrusion process. 
A raw material can be very interesting from a nutritional perspective, but might present challenges in practical feed production. Another aspect that we are focusing on when screening raw materials is sustainability. For example, looking at the global warming potential of a given raw material and more. This new system permits the testing of new ingredients and feed formulations, which enables us to develop feeds that ensure healthy fish, high growth rates and efficient feed conversion ratios. Our extensive research allows us to meet the needs of the fish as well as the requirements of the market and our customers and to ensure the best possible quality. As such, every single Alltech Coppins product can trace its origins back to the Alltech Coppins Aquacenter. You have witnessed how we are constantly developing and innovating our feed range. The application of our new next generation digestibility system will bring our knowledge of fish nutrition to the next level by adhering to our four pillars of fish nutrition, palatability, performance, pollution control and planet. We hope that you enjoyed the tour and thank you very much for visiting the Alltech Coppins Aquacenter.